Good morning. Good, oh, <laughs> sorry. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Today's story is How Do Dinosaurs Go to School by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Mark Teague. I'm sure some of you boys and girls have had a hard time learning some of the new rules at your new school or in your new classroom. Well, dinosaurs are no exception. They have a hard time with the rules as well. The more that we practice good community helping skills in our classroom, I'm sure our teachers will see a big improvement in not only our behavior, but in the dinosaurs' behaviors too. So join me as we explore how do dinosaurs go to school and read aloud to Mr. Jason. How do dinosaurs go to school? Written by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Mark Teague. How does a dinosaur go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? Does he roughhouse and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's lunch? Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? Does a dinosaur yell? And when in class, plunked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget with his tail in the air? Does he growl during chalk talks or roar at a turn? Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? Does he tease all the girls? And does he pick on the boys? No. A dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. At recess, he plays with a number of friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. He tidies his desk, then he leaps out the door. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. Would you look at that? You can teach an old dinosaur new tricks. <laughs> I had a blast reading with you like I always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of a story that you would like to read in our next read aloud. As an extension for this story, I want you and your parents to sit down together and come up with a couple of rules for the house that you can work on so that, you know, you make your community at home just a little bit better. Maybe things like, uh, I'll pick up after myself, I'll help clean the dishes, or I promise I won't write on the walls anymore. <laughs> Whatever it takes for you to be the best you you can be, write them down and work hard to stick to them. I can't wait to read with you again. And don't forget, keep reading.